Makes for good video. I think we found an army worm nest. Time to get rid of that. But it is spring and today it's a little bit cool, about 43 degrees, but the sun's out. She's supposed to warm up a bit and the trees are starting to turn green. Probably getting close to my favorite time of year. I have no idea where that came from. None. So we do have the uh, 2012 Kia Soul in the shop and as you can tell we got the top cover off and we're pretty much ready to get the timing cover off to find out what's going on. There's no tension there at all. So my guess is that the timing chain tensioner has failed or possibly even a, the guide that the timing chain rides on uh, may have broke and uh, causing the tension to be lost on the chain. So anyways, we're this far, we're this far into it. Uh, if it is just a timing chain tensioner, we might be lucky because those as a rule are, are pretty inexpensive and all we'll be tied up into it is labor uh, and a trip to St. John and back. But uh, I don't think there's physically anything wrong with the motor itself, just in the, in the timing chain. So um, we'll know as soon as we get the thing apart, find out what's wrong, get the parts on it, and we'll keep you updated on that. I still have no idea where those black marks came from. So I just went out to pick out a package and it was something that I was expecting and it is Beard Bomb by Burley Boy. And it's only half my order but uh, because they couldn't provide the other part that I ordered um, they sent me some uh, nighttime beard oil free of charge. So we're going to try these products out and uh, see how they work uh, but no this is not a paid sponsorship this is I, I paid for this stuff myself and uh, when I got the confirmation of my email they did tell me that um, one of the products was back ordered and they were going to send me some uh, something free the uh, the nighttime oil uh, for the inconvenience but further to that when I replied in my signature on my email address I do have my YouTube channel and somebody at Burley Boy saw that and said, hey, we've got your YouTube channel, we checked it out, and wondering if maybe you wanted to do some sort of a collaboration. So uh, I'm gonna try this product out for a little bit, see how I like it, and we'll keep you updated on that and see where that goes. So it is springtime in the Maritimes, and one of the ways to tell that it's springtime in the Maritimes is that when you go to get in your vehicle in the morning you need to crank the heat because it's only 44 degrees but by noon time she hits 70 or 75 you gotta turn the AC on first world problems huh makes for good video take it out of the shop and see if we can figure out what's going on with the carburetor and why it seems to be running so running so rich and uh, why it seems to be flooding itself out. So likely to take the carburetor apart, clean it again. There might be a stuck uh, stuck float or something like that and, and uh, it just giving us some trouble where I had it apart and put it back together there might be something out of place. So that's the plan anyways. Maybe we'll give it a bath while we're out there. Well, I figure we best give her a bath if we're going to start driving it. The tires and wheels shined up. And we did uh, take the carburetor apart. I meant to record that, but I didn't. But we cleaned every little orifice, nook and cranny in it in hopes that uh, it won't be flooding out anymore and have a little bit better performance. So uh, we're going to take it for a little drive here in a bit. So guys, I was sitting inside starting to edit this video um, for the next upload 
And as I was going through some of my segments, I realized that I had left off telling you that I was going to take the car for a test drive after cleaning the carburetor, and I didn't do that. Although I did take the car for a test drive, I didn't record it. So we're going to go out for a little drive right now. I've got to go fill the car up full of gas. Anyway, so what an opportunity to do that and talk to you about how I feel the car is working out for us. So let's get to it. So far, one of the first things that I do notice about the car ultimately is that it seems to start better. The other thing, if you remember, is a few videos ago, I installed the Thompson Performance Power Blast plate. And I will put that video right here so you guys can go back and see how I installed that. And the theory behind that plate, once again, is better responsiveness by atomizing the fuel a lot better. That, again, do I notice a significant difference? I do not. But, part of cleaning that carburetor out as well as I did this time versus the one that I did in that video, probably makes it perform a lot better anyways. So, as we sit here in traffic and driving through town, I don't really notice a bit because I haven't come on to it. We'll go get some gas, we'll fill it up, we'll take it out on the highway, and we'll see how it really works then, and then that way I'll be able to tell you if I feel like the performance is any better uh, due to the power, belt, power blast plate or with the cleaning of the carburetor. But on another note, I will tell you that I feel like the Dynamat insulation that we put in this car is paying dividends already because before I wouldn't have been able to have this conversation with you in the car and you'll be able to hear what I'm saying. So I think that that part of the insulation has really done its job and we're not even completely 100% done. We still have the doors, the side panel, and the trunk to do, which will still be significantly quieter. So we are just pulling into the gas station right now. And I do have to pull ahead quite a ways simply because the gas tank filler neck is behind the license plate. We are in the 2012 Dodge Grand Caravan. We sold it this morning, so I'm heading down to uh, put some gas in it. And I just wanted to guy give you guys an update on the dog situation. I haven't done that for a while. Um, we found a new home for the dog, plain and simply. 
Uh, I don't want to sound like, you know, we weren't giving it enough time or what have you. The biggest issue of the whole thing, and I said in one of my last videos, which I'll put a link uh, up above here, but I said in one of my last videos that we were having issues with the dog uh, with its food. Well, that was an easy fix. We changed the food. I also said that we were having problems with the dog not liking my son. But, again, it wasn't that big of an issue. The biggest issue ended up being that the dog stressed out our other dog, Sadie. And Sadie is very timid. Um, you know, she she just she scoots. She's gone at the sound, at a noise, whether it's a loud noise or not. Um, you know, she just she's freaked out very, very easily. And with a hyper dog like Gracie, it wasn't a good mix. Sadie was always cowering down to her. Um, you know, when she found uh, that. You know, she was making some noise or whimpering or barking or whatever. Uh, so you'd go find Sadie. Where would she be? She'd be out in the kitchen kind of in a corner somewhere with her tail between her legs. And that's not what we wanted for Sadie. We wanted a companion. And, uh, you know, there were times where they would uh, get together. They'd lay together on the couch. They would play together. And they would, uh, you know, enjoy each other's company. But Gracie was such a hyper dog, it was too much for Sadie. So uh, at the end of the day, we felt that, you know, over time, could we make it work? Yes, we probably could have. But the entire situation was not just stressing out Sadie. Uh, it was stressing out us as well. So we felt it best to find a family that had somebody that was home all the time that could look after her and give her the attention that she needed. And we did just that. So um, she's in a really good home. We can go visit anytime. We do get regular updates. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks now. So I guess we're pretty happy that uh, we were able to find her a, a home. And you know, the whole thing has been an experience for us. We now realize that you know, having a second dog back in our family again probably isn't a good thing. Not just for us, but maybe not for our other animals as well. Um, so. Long and short of it is, although I dragged this out for two or three minutes, uh, long and short of it is we did find her a new home. She's in a great place and uh, they're great people. So I wanted to give you that update. And if you want to catch the whole uh, Gracie story, I will put another link uh, right up here so that you can kind of check out the whole saga and maybe even the uh, trip to Vermont where we went to go pick her up. So I just realized that today being Friday, I didn't do one lick of recording on much of anything. Although I kept busy cleaning vehicles most of the day. However, dad was at the auction today and picked up three vehicles. Two of them are home now. Uh, we got them cleaned up, uh, at least gave them a bath so that we could get them on the lot. And uh, one of them is the 2014 black Ford Escape. And the other one is the 2013 Kia Sorento all wheel drive V6 with leather and all the goodies. The other thing that I had Junior do when he came in this afternoon was get the Pathfinder cleaned up. Now he shampooed it and got it cleaned up earlier in the week. We did give it a bath today and got the tires shined up and got it ready for the lot. And the lot really is looking good. It's starting to uh, look like a full lot instead of holes everywhere and um, not enough vehicles to sell. We did have a busy week this week. We probably put out about uh, six units all together this week and, and late last week. It's good for us that we're able to do that um, because the sun really brings people out. And I think we really did benefit from the off-site sale that was going on down the road last week as well. It seemed to uh, drop off an awful lot of traffic. But that does conclude another video for Old Car Auto Guy. It also concludes another work week for us. So we're going to enjoy the weekend, hopefully get down to the camper, get that opened up for the season, and uh, maybe get some video while we're down there. If you like what you see, guys, please give us a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to click on the little bell notification right beside that subscribe no notification so that you get notified every time a new one of my videos gets uploaded. I'll put a few extra videos in the credits for you to watch, so 
Guys, I really appreciate you tuning in. Thank you so much for subscribing, and we will see you in the next upload.